Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, LJ Martinez from the Immigrant Edification TV coming to you with another informative video. The video this evening is going to be about so-called Anka babies. These are kids who were born to undocumented um, parents in the U.S. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, basically what's happening right now at the border is that a lot of the immigrant women who are pregnant are not being allowed to go to court so as to prevent them from having the the um, child on um, US soil that being said ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna read an article from guardian.com an estimated 4.1 million US children live with at least one undocumented parent in recent years according to the migration policy institute they are kids who anti-immigrant group disparage as anchor babies a derogatory term that insinuate these children are little more than pawn used by their immigrant parents to get a foothold in the U.S. and eventually become citizens themselves. It's a narrative trope that completely misrepresents the harsh realities of America's current immigration laws, as well as just the natural progression of life experts suggest. People have this notion that you have a child in the United States, now you are a citizen. It's what people think, because it's the easy way to explain it. So it's an easy way to make up a might, said David Leopold, an immigration attorney and former president of the American Immigration Lawyers Association. It's true that children born on US soil have been granted citizenship through the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution and that a landmark Supreme Court decision set the president for that right to be extended to almost all children of foreigners. But Americans can't just immediately safeguard their family members from deportation. In fact, a U.S. citizen must be 21 years old before they can sponsor their parents for a green card. They also must be able to financially support their parents. Now the Trump administration's new public charge rule targeting low-income immigrants is adding yet another burden. Parents who were not inspected and admitted into the U.S. face even more obstacles to changing their immigration status. With limited exceptions, they have to go abroad as part of the legalization process and then often aren't allowed back into the U.S. for 10 years. Even if parents do get a green card, they have a five-year holding period before they can finally apply for naturalization. In the end, the so-called Anka Baby Pathway to Citizenship is at least a 26-year endeavor even for those who enter the U.S. legally. It's ludicrous to think that that's some sort of a tactic that people use to come here, get citizenship, because it just isn't true, said Leopold. It's a might, and it's a specious talking point, a talking point that popular that popular among anti that's popular among anti-immigrant groups, pundits, and the Republican Party. The Republican Senator Lindsey Graham has called birthright citizenship a mistake, and argued that immigrants come to the U.S. to drop a child. Graham's former colleague, the California Congressman Duncan Hunter even advocated for deporting the U.S. citizen children of undocumented immigrants. Congressman Steve King has continually introduced legislation 
challenging, challenging these kids right to citizenship. When Donald Trump launched his campaign for the 2016 presidential election, his signature policy agenda around immigration often leaned into the anchor baby fallacy. Part of this, part of his platform included ending birthright citizenship for the children of undocumented immigrants and Trump called for deporting such families. Since becoming commander in chief, Trump has continued to hint at an impending crackdown on birthright citizenship. And in January, the administration made it more difficult for pregnant people to get short-term visas. Meanwhile, officials at the border aren't allowing pregnant asylum seekers to attend your court hearings. And an attorney said it was so they won't give birth to a U.S. citizen, KPBS reported. As the 2020 presidential election heats up, Trump will probably use birthright citizenship to rile his supporters, Leopold suggested. It's red meat for the Trump base, he said. During the last election, Trump repeated the word anchor baby gratuitously on the campaign trail, giving the phrase even more ear. When a reporter pointed out that the term was hurtful and offensive, Trump rebuffed. Trump rebuffed him. You mean it's not politically correct and yet everyone uses it? But just two decades ago, no one used it, at least not publicly. In the book, Anchor Babies and the Challenge of Birthright Citizenship, the anthropologist Leo Chavez tracked the term's appearance in both Coast paper, Papers of Record, the New York Times and the Los Angeles Times. Anchor Babies never cropped up until the early 2000s. The practice of targeting people who really are members of your society historically and legally and making them as different allows you to do incredible, awful things to them, Chavez said. They suffered psychological terror caused by the same fears that their families experience, he said. Ladies and gentlemen, sadly, we've come to the end of this video. Please share, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.